there is nothing from human experience that can let us believe that something came from nothing. Look at everything around you. Where did it all come from? Imagine if we're traveling through the natural surroundings of the beautiful desert and we stumble across this mobile phone just lying there on the sand and you ask yourself where it came from. Someone tells you, take a look at the basic components of this mobile phone. You've got the outer plastic and you've got the silicon chips inside. Someone tells you uh, plastic is produced from oil and the silicon is produced from sand. And it's then explained to you that over the course of millions of years, the oil beneath the desert is caused to rise and merge with the sand. And through the heat of the sun and the heavy desert winds and strikes of lightning, these extraordinary events cause the creation of the mobile phone to occur. Just like that. Ridiculous, right? And it's ridiculous because everything about this mobile phone points to a design. It's too perfectly shaped and formed, and its features are too sophisticated for it to have appeared so randomly. Only Earth sustains life as we know it today. Everything that we know about Earth suggests that it was created to support life. The size of the Earth is immense, yet there it is floating in the universe orbiting the Sun. At the same time, it's tilting and spinning on its own axis. Just think, if the Earth was to go around the Sun any faster, we could break out of orbit and all life would end as we spun off into the vast universe. Likewise, if we were to orbit slower, we would be drawn closer to the sun and burn up. If the angle at which the Earth is tilted was a few degrees off, then we would not have our seasons and we would suffer all sorts of disasters affecting the weather, crops, animals and the food we rely on for survival. And what about the moon? Have you noticed how fully it hides the sun during a solar eclipse? even though it's nowhere near the size of the sun and it's millions of miles away. Everything is in its place, working in perfect precision. Can you imagine what levels of calculations are required to achieve this level of precision? Just like we're not prepared to accept a mobile phone appearing in the desert through random events, there's no way the whole universe, the galaxies, the stars, its complex systems ordered with such precision occurred through events of randomness or from nothing. And the same can be said about the existence of human beings. And this brings me to something that God says in his final revelation where he says, were they created by nothing or were they themselves the creators or were they the creators of the heavens and the earth? Nay, but they are sure of nothing. The existence of God is the most plausible explanation and a very rational conclusion from all other ideas. If you force yourself to sit back and think about how we got here and all the things that fit together just perfectly on our planet, it, it's just very incredible. Um, just our atmosphere alone, the reason we can breathe is because the nitrogen and the carbon dioxide and the oxygen uh, just fit together perfectly. Um, all the things from uh, all the different landscapes, from um, the mountains to the jungles, to the deserts, to the oceans, um, all the different kinds of animals and different kinds of fish. Um, it, it, you just have to come to one conclusion and uh, at the conclusion for me and obviously many other people at that is that there's one supreme being or uh, supreme intelligence that created everything. And once you come to this conclusion, you have to believe that he uh, controls everything. And uh, for me, it's just very, very uh, soothing and comforting knowing this. It's perfectly rational and reasonable to link what we see in the design and the reality of order with intelligence, power and will. It proves the existence of an intelligent and creative being, and that can only be what we understand to be God. And who is God? Well, we know about God through what God himself has revealed in his final revelation, the Quran. In it, God states, Say, he is Allah, the one. Allah is the self-sufficient master upon whom all depend. He begets not, nor was he begotten. And there is none co-equal or comparable unto him.